It appeared out of nowhere, Bob. It looks like a sinkhole. Let's take a closer look. You guys stay back. This road might not be safe. A sinkhole? What's a sinkhole, Tred? It's a big hole that no one can see at first because it's hidden underneath the surface of the road. Then the road falls into it and boom! The sinkhole appears. Whoa! I can't wait to see inside it. You're right, Bob. It is a sinkhole. I wonder what caused it. Maybe last night's rainstorm had something to do with it. We won't know for sure till we've dug out all the rubble. Stretch, could you come over here, please? Carefully. Can I have a look too? Oh, no, Muck, sorry. Stay where you are, please. The ground might not be safe for a vehicle as heavy as you. Oh. OK, Bob. We need to have this road back open before the evening rush hour, Bob, or it'll get jammed full of traffic. No problem, Mr Bentley. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. What's happening, Bob? I'm going to go down inside the sinkhole to inspect it. Oh, wow. Can I watch? Oh! Not yet, Muck. It still isn't safe. Oh. No. But listen, I've got an important job for you. I need you to be my safety officer. Oh, wow! Brilliant! Uh, what does that mean, Bob? <laughs> I want you to stay on this side of the barrier and stop anybody from getting too close. You can trust me. Thanks, Muck. Hi, Muck. What's all this fuss about? The road's not safe, Betsy. Hmm. Oh, what's going on? Why have we stopped? Hello, Spring City Rockets. There's a sinkhole in the road. A sinkhole? Wow. Can we see? Yeah. Can we watch Bob fix it? No. Nope. Sorry. I am the safety officer, and you have to stay back. <laughs> Hello. And what are you all doing here? Hello, Hi, Sensei. Hello. We're trying to get a look at the sinkhole, but Muck won't let us near it. It's not safe, that's why. Well, I'm sure Muck's right. I know. Why don't you come up to my restaurant? You'll be able to watch everything safely from the window. Oh, yes, please. There we go. Uh, our counter is finished. We've caught up with them, Bob. We might even beat them. Uh, not that it matters. At all. Next thing to do is to put on the door. I've got the doors right here, Bob. Here you go. Uh, we only need one door, Scoop, but we've got two. Huh? Oh. You must have picked up Wendy's door as well by mistake. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, it'll really slow them down if they don't have it. Hmm. Can you take it over to her then, please? Oh. OK, Bob. Where's the door? Uh, I better tell Bob. Hi, Wendy. I've got your door. Thanks, Scoop. That's very helpful. Have you joined our team? Huh? Oh, no. It's just that I picked up your door by mistake. Hi, Bob. I can't find the door for our hot dog stand. Do you know where it is? Yes, Muck. Scoop's got your door. He's taking it to Wendy now. Thanks, Bob. Eh? Uh, why has Scoop got our door? He really wants us to be the first to finish our stand. Ugh. Oh, so you mean he hid our door? But that's not fair! And he got muddled up and brought me your door by mistake. <sighs> Muck? That's our door, Scoop. It's not nice to hide other people's things. I didn't hide it, Muck. Yes, you did. You took our door because you want to win the race, Bob told me. No, that's not true. Come with me and Bob can tell you what really happened. Don't go away with our door again. It's not fair. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Really, I didn't. Here, have it. Whoa! <gasps> Oops. I'll catch it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. 
Uh oh. No oh, scoop. Oh. I'll have to rebuild this whole wall, Bob. And you'll need a couple of brand new wood panels. These two are broken. Oh, I'm sorry, Wendy. I didn't mean to damage your stand. Don't worry, Scoop. It was an accident. I know, but Bob said to work slowly and steadily. I wanted to win the race to build the hot dog stand so much, I wasn't slow or steady. It wasn't a real competition, Scoop. It was just Wendy and me having a bit of fun. Oh, I wish we could all work together again. I prefer being on the same team as you, Muck. Oh, thanks, Scoop. I like working with you, too. Well... If we're going to finish the hot dog stands in time for Chef Tatty's inspection, we really are going to have to work together. So, can we fix it? Yes, we can! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Get off! Get off! I can't shake it loose! What's happening down there? Bob, I accidentally hit the power box in the maintenance garage and now all the garage doors have closed and Scoop and Muck are trapped. Trapped? And now I've broken the scaffold tower, so you're stuck on the roof too. I can reach you. Oh, it's too dangerous with that bit of scaffold jammed on your hook, Lofty. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I did to make such a mess. Maybe you were working a little too fast without taking enough care, Shifter. Well, we need to think fast about how to get down from up here. We could use a ladder. But those are all stuck in the garages, too. Could we build a ladder? Or a staircase or, or something? That's not a bad idea, Shifter. Perhaps you could use some of those empty pallets you cleared away. Yes, I could do that. But I'll need help. I can't help you, Shifter. Oh, no. Oh, but I know someone who can. <laughs> Tread! Tread! It's an emergency! I need your help to move the pallets back to the yard again! Come on! Uh, I'd love to, Shifter. I really would, but there's one problem. I'm surrounded. Oh, yes! I see. Sorry. <laughs> here. Right, young Shifter, here I am. Start loading me up. That's the idea, Shifter. Not so fast, Shifter. Take it easy. OK, Tread. Now I'll move yours. It's working. Back in the boat, Bob. We'll have you down in no time. That's it, Bob. I've used all of the pallets. Thanks, Shifter. Let's go, Wendy. Ooh. Do be careful, both of you. We're almost there, but we need two more steps to get down. Um, yes! I know what to do! Sorry, Carl. We just need to find the problem and fix it. Carl? Hmm. Bob, you don't have to fix anything. Look, you just have to unfix what I did. I saw that this rod wasn't safe, so I reset it to be like this one. Someone press a button! Oh, uh, Leo, I should have told you what we were doing. Anyhow, at least the rod's back where it should be, halfway across. Maybe there's a problem with the remote, Bob. Carl, no! Whoa! Oh, no! <gasps> Move! Whoa! Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> Oh! 
Or some. Whoa! <laughs> Wait. Where is Leo? Oh, Leo. No. Leo! I'm fine. <laughs> Just a little stuck. Oh, Leo. We'll have you out in no time. Can we free Leo? Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Thank goodness you're okay. I'm fine. Oh, fantastic. Carl, I'm afraid it's going to take ages to rebuild all this. Oh, no! The film's ruined! Oh, this is a disaster, Bob. Carl, the lights on the cameras, they're still on. You're right, Dash. I forgot to stop them. Which means they filmed everything that happened. Marvelous! Whoop! Whoop! Yeah! Whoa! All right! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> it's a work of genius, even if I do say so myself. And I would. is really fast, and we've looked everywhere. Where else can he be? Help! Oh, help me someone! Can anyone hear me? Hold on. Did you hear that? Hello? Huh? Shifter here. I'm stuck. <gasps> He's behind that hill. Quick, can let's go! Help me! Help me! Oi! Please help! We're here, Shifter! Shifter, what happened? Are you trying to be a digger or something? It's not funny, Scoop. I'm really stuck. Can you help me get the right way up? Why don't you pull your forks out? Be because I can only move them up and down. Now, I'm going to do that. Th this happens. <laughs> hey, cool! Do that again. No, Scoop, please. I, I want to get the right way up. How about if I have a go at pulling you out with my grabber? Oh, thank you, Lofty. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I'll be very careful. Oh, oh, ah, ah, no, 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 stop. It isn't working, Lofty, it isn't working. Sorry. Felt like my cab was being pulled off. Oh, dear, if only Bob was here, he'd know what to do. Oh, no, I forgot Bob. I left him outside the shopping mall. It's all right, Scoop. I'll phone Bob and tell him what's happened. What's she going to do now? How are you going to get me out? Uh. Bob would tell us to work together, Scoop. Like we did with that stone. Oh, brilliant, Muck. Really? Yes! We can use our buckets to lift Shifter out of the ground. Then Lofty can do the rest. Right too. Oh, oh, this won't hurt, will it? Of course not. Just relax, Shifter. Leave it all to us. When you're ready, Muck. OK. Lift! On Earth? Oh, it's working, it's working! Yes! <laughs> OK. Oh, thank you. Yes! Let's go, Wendy. Fast as possible, please. Three, two... Way up. Bob, 
Dinosaur. <laughs> that was way more thrilling than the twisty tornado. Oh, I've made such a mess of things. Set a baby dinosaur on the loose, ruin the roller coaster. Hang on, Lofty. What do you mean, baby dinosaur? Oh, where do I start? Maybe at the part where you lost the dinosaur egg. This egg. <gasps> it's not broken. I found it fallen behind the shrub. I accidentally knocked it out of the nest. I thought it hatched. That's impossible. It's not a real dinosaur egg, Lofty. It's just a replica. One of the three I have made to show what they would have looked like. But, but we saw a footprint and a stripy tail. Really? So could this be what you saw? Pilchard? Oh. I would love to have met a real dinosaur, though. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Well, it's getting late, everyone, and our dino coaster is in pieces. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! The idea, Scoop. Everything here has to look like it's from outer space. Ooh, I love outer space. Me too. It's amazing. And the restaurant looks just like a spaceship. That is awesome. Wendy. Oh, hello, Chef Tatty. Hello. It's all going to plan. Your new outer space waiting area will be built there at the bottom of the restaurant. So my customers have somewhere fun to wait before they go up to eat. And it'll all be ready for dinner time this evening. Thanks, Wendy. I can't wait. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, cool. Look at those stars. Ooh. What are they for, Bob? Well, because we know how much you all love outer space, <laughs> we thought we'd have some fun today. How exciting! Fantastic! So, every time you do a good piece of work, you'll get a star. Anyone who fills their column with stars will win their very own outer space star badge. Awesome! I so want one of those. <laughs> so, can we... Uh... Guys, huh? I want the stars. Stars are the best. I love stars. Stars are the best. I love stars. <laughs> I knew I'd get the most stars. You and I have the same number of stars. And anyway, we haven't finished yet. How many have I got? Wow! Look at all your stars. Oh, 
Is that all I've got? Yes, well, I've been brilliant and done loads of jobs. Scooped up rocks, helped Wendy with her tools. I only got to clear away the rocks, and it took ages. Oh, but I really want an out-of-space star badge. Don't worry, Muck. There's lots of work to do. You can still earn stars like us. Well, not exactly like us. You won't ever get quite as many as me. Yes, I will. You'll see. I'll earn so many stars, Bob will need two charts. There. I've connected the cable, so as soon as the dish is installed, you'll have full control of it. Thanks, Wendy. Ready, Lofty? I think so, Bob. I'm just a little bit scared of breaking the dish. You'll be fine if you take it slowly, Lofty. Right. Oh, I'm going to get it wrong, Bob. No, you're not, Lofty. You're doing brilliantly. That's it. OK. Lower it down now. That's right. Keep going. Well done, Lofty. You did it. Phew. Nothing went wrong. Now I need to power up from the observatory and check the remote control works. <gasps> you mustn't sit there, girl. The radio telescope is very delicate and can easily be damaged. Oh. There is a good seagull. Come on. Hop over onto my jib. The power's on. Let's try moving the telescope. Come to Lofty. Oh, whoa! Oh, no! Wow! Uh -oh. Lofty, what happened? Oh, Bob. Girl was sitting on the dish, so I tried to get him to move. Uh -oh. oh dear, oh dear. How's it looking, Bob? <sighs> Not good. The hydraulics are completely jammed, and that means the telescope won't move. And it's stuck in the wrong position. Now I won't be able to speak to Lynn. Oh, me, I'm sorry. I thought Girl might damage the telescope. Is there a way to get the hydraulics to work again, Bob? I don't know until I've checked what's broken. To start with, I'd have to disconnect them, but then the dish would just flop to one side. And I wouldn't be able to move it by remote control at all. Maybe you don't need to. What if I move the dish with my gem? That's a great idea. I think I can make it work. enough, no one will notice the stinky smell. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, uh, thanks, Lofty. There we are. That's out of sight, isn't it? No, I can still see it. What if we put it right next to the shed? You'll hardly see it at all there. But I'll still be able to see it a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find just the right place for it. Up we go again, Lofty. Hmm. I think closer. Here. No, 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 no. Further away. OK. As long as you're sure. Oh, no. No. Hmm. No. No. It'll be over, over there. there. Huh? What? I think further away. Oh, no. Closer. Further away. Closer. Oh. Nearly there. Oh, no. It's Philip. I don't want him to think that I'm stinky. Don't worry, Mom. <gasps> Slow down, Mom. <laughs> Be careful, Mom. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh, 
Oh, what on earth is going on? I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't like it when people thought I was smelly. So I went a really long way round so people couldn't smell me. And then I, I got late and in a real rush and then I... <laughs> it's all right, Mug. It's all right. And you're not smelly. It's just the manure. Yes, Mug. And we'll give you a good wash when you get back to the yard. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And after that, you'll smell as fresh as one of Mayor Madison's roses. Oh, well, no turnips for me. Oh, at least the beds for my flowers are still all right. Ah. <sighs> What's the matter with Mr Bentley? Mayor Madison didn't want his vegetables to ruin the look of her flower garden. It's a shame vegetables don't have flowers on them. Then everyone would be happy. Wait a minute. You might have something there, Muck. Really? Yes. Mr Bentley, mm -hmm. don't some vegetables have nice flowers on them? Oh, yes. Lots. Uh, runner beans, tomatoes, even turnips. Uh, uh, look, that one's a pepper. In that case, you can have a vegetable garden and a flower garden at the same time. Oh. Oh, yes, you can. You just need to plant vegetables that have flowers on them. Wait, I've just had a super-duper idea. Oh, no. What would that be, Mayor Madison? Why don't we have eight raised beds instead of six? No, Shifter, listen! Oh. Well, if you're going to be like that, I don't want to share with you anyway. But I didn't ask to share with anyone. I was just looking forward to... Oh! Shifter's really upset. I'd better go and talk to him. Thanks, Wendy. Good luck. Who wants to share a garage anyway, Lofty? I mean, I'd rather be on my own, really, instead of having someone get in my way all the time. That's not what you were saying before, Dizzy. Before, you were saying how much fun it would be. Well, it won't be now, will it? Could Shifter spoiled everything. I don't think that's fair, Dizzy. Thanks, Lofty. It's not that Shifter doesn't want to share it with you. Huh? He's just upset because he thought he was getting his own garage. Oh. And it was me that got it hoped up in the first place, wasn't it? Oh, you're right, Lofty. This isn't Shifter's fault at all. Dizzy, did Shifter bring over that new box of bolts? I need it now. Yes, he did, Bob, but he's still carrying it round with him. Mm, right. I'll have to go and get it. Hi, Wendy. Is Shifter OK? Oh, I'm afraid not. He's hiding in the gravel store. He won't talk and he won't come out. We'll have to try and put this right somehow. And then we need to get the garages finished. Bob, could I try talking to Shifter again? I wasn't very kind to him just now and I really would like to share with him. Thank you, Dizzy. That's very sweet of you. Yes, it really is. Bob and I should have explained everything to Shifter before we started. But I'm sure you're the best one to talk to him. Come on, then. Let's see what we can do. I'm sorry I was cross-shifter. Go away. Please, Dizzy. I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I didn't mean what I said about not wanting to share with you. I really do want to share. And I love the idea of one red wall and one that's green with orange round it. You mean, like I want for my garage? Yes! And I've got a brilliant butterfly poster up, but there's room for another, so we could have a dash lightning poster too. <gasps> like Mox. Yes! Dash lightning, so amazing. We can play dash lightning games. What does he say? Zoom! Boom! Lightning strikes twice! <laughs> I know lots of dash lightning games. Will you teach them to me? Okay. Bob, can you and Wendy paint Dizzy's garage today? We certainly can, Shifter, just as soon as you've given me those bolts. Oops. <laughs> and we finished building the new garages. Yay! Let's do it! Sir. OK, Wendy, Bob? if you wait inside, I'll abseil down from here and check the fuse box. Bob? I'm on my way, Chef. Um... Oh, this 
is a disaster. We open soon and this is all still a terrible mess. <sighs> Leo and Scoot were supposed to be clearing all this. I wonder where they've got to. Anyway, let's get the lift working. Come and get your lovely ice cream. It comes in a cone. It tastes like a dream. Come and get your lovely ice cream. Huh? Come in a cone. It tastes like a dream. Huh? Ice cream! It's a cooling treat. Hi, guys. A double scoop for me, please. Coming right up. Huh? Oh. It's Bob. <laughs> One sec. Bob? We haven't done our job. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello? Ah, Leo. Where have you and Scoop got to? <gasps> oh, ooh, sorry, Bob. Uh, we... Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, we're on our way. <laughs> Bye. Where are we? Uh-oh. Quick, Scoop. Sorry, everyone. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. What's it about our way? Oh, oh. I'm sorry, Bob. Where have you been? We didn't want all Chef Tatty's lovely ice cream to go to waste. So we went around the city giving it away. You gave it away? Uh-oh. Yes, and um, we got so excited we forgot all about getting our job done. You gave it away? Well, OK, you're back now, and I'm sure if we work really hard, we can still get all of the oh, repairs... No. Huh? If everyone in Spring City has had an ice cream already, Who's going to want to come to my extravaganza? Oh, oh no! We didn't think of that. Oh. Hey, Scoop! Huh? Have you got any more of that ice cream? <gasps> and we'd like some too, please. Huh? Your song made us really want some ice cream, Scoop. And I'd like to try another flavour. We've been telling everyone about it. Ice cream! Oh, it's oh, it's lovely, ice cream. Isn't it? Hey. Well, it looks like you've got lots of customers for your big extravaganza after all, Chef Tatty. Oh, it's going to be the biggest ice cream extravaganza Spring City has ever seen. We just need to get the restaurant open. Good point, Wendy. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! So, Bob, why has Chef Tatty bought a huge apple orchard? He needs lots of apple scoop. So we can turn them into pies, crumbles, sauces and jam. Oh, OK. He's away right now searching for the best apple recipes around the world. But he'll be back soon, so we need to get started. Look, it's Flame! Hello, Flame. I didn't know you lived here. Chef Tati has asked us to repair the barn where the apples will be stored after they've been picked. Right, team, let's get... Oh! This might be a bigger job than I thought. We can fix the gate and fence, Bob, but let's check the barn first. OK. It looks like the apples are ready to be harvested. They're already falling off the trees. Ooh. Can we store that apple, Bob? Oops. Oh, dear. When an apple falls on the ground, it can bruise, and you can't store a bruised apple muck. Or a squashed one. Sorry. I'll be really careful from now on, Wendy. Yeah, me too. And me. Oh, dear. The barn's in a real mess, Bob. Well, thankfully, the main structure's solid lofty. We can replace this rotten cladding and give the barn a new roof. Chef Tatty, hi. <laughs> Wendy, I'm back in Spring City with lots of new apple recipes. How is my orchard looking? Oh, well, the barn needs quite a bit of work. I'm looking forward to filling it with ripe red apples. Of course, but... So, I'll see you a bit later. For an apple-picking party? <laughs> bye. Um, bye, Chef Tatty. Oh, he's on his way. We need to get working. Well, I'm always up for a challenge. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Lots of 
bits of wood in the barn. What shall I do with them? They're not just pieces of wood, Scoop. They're pieces of an old apple press for making apple juice. Put them to one side for now. OK. Uh-oh. Careful, Scoop. <laughs> Excuse me, Scoop. Oh, hi, Lofty. I'm looking for a safe place to put these pipes. Scoop? Maybe here is best. What was that? Uh, nothing, Scoop, but you're in my way. Oh, sorry. You only had to say. Ah, I know where they'll be safe. Hi, Bob. This is the first one for the upper level. OK, Lofty. You need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, this place looks nice and safe. Oh, a little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Uh, not sure. Uh, an aeroplane? OK. Lower your winch now. right here, Bob. I can't oh. hold it. What? Oh, below. Oh, no. Lofty, are you all right? New Bob. I can't move at all. What happened? It was lifting this heavy concrete so high. I think I've broken something. Oh, Lofty, you should have told us. You're going to need some repairs. I just wanted to keep up with Tiny. I thought I could do it. But I was wrong. Bob, that's the only exit and now it's blocked. What are we going to do? Maybe I can reach it. Yeah. <sighs> No, sorry, guys. It's too far away. So how are we going to get out? Uh, well, if I can get out, Curtis can fix me. And then I'll be able to unblock the entrance. Um, I know I should have accepted your help earlier, Tiny. But maybe you can help me now. Sure, little guy. Here I am, Tiny, ready for my extra heavy load. Stand by, Two-Ton. Time for some tower power. Steady, Tiny. Whew! Oh, I'm so high up. <laughs> Hello down there. Flow. Lee. Oh, I get it. Keep going. The asphalt is ready for Roly to roll, Bob. Great work. Next, we need to put up the basketball hoops. Oh, but they're still back at the yard. I'll get Scoop onto it. Thanks, Wendy. And finally, golden rule number 17. I didn't know there were going to be so many golden rules, Scoop. I'm not sure I can remember them all. And this rule is the most important one of all. It's... Scoop, huh? could you go back to the yard and get the basketball hoops? Sure thing, Wendy. I'll tell you when I get back. What? Oh, Holy, you can start rolling the asphalt now. Right. Yes, will do, Wendy. The first thing we did to build the hardcore was dig. No, break. No, oh, oh no, I've forgotten. Hiya, Rowie. Scoop, please tell me your final golden rule. Oh, yes. So, the final golden rule. This is very important. This is the rule you must remember. Here it is. Never, ever, ever. Oh, look, there's Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Scoop. Never, ever, ever what? Oh, no, Betsy must be here with the rockets already. But I really need to practice my speech. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Spring City Sports Field. My name is... Uh... Oh, I'm in such a muddle. And I don't know the final golden rule. Oh, no! Uh-oh. No! The hoops! Now what have I done? Roly, what's going on? 
I've crashed into the dugout and I've ruined the basketball hoops. It's not like you to make a mistake, Roly. What happened? I was too busy thinking about my speech and all the people who will be coming. Don't worry, Roly. We can fix the dugout. And we can replace the poles for these hoops. But Betsy's here with the rockets and other people will start turning up soon. They'll see what a mess I've made. Betsy hasn't picked the rockets up from swimming yet. She just came to say she'd like to hear your speech too. Oh, no. Not another one. I'll never be able to relax with all those people and machines watching me. They might be watching you, Roly, but you don't have to watch them. But what if I forget what building we've done? I'll feel really silly. You won't forget because Bob can remind you. Uh, can I? How? Bob can give you hand signals to remind you about everything we've done. Raking, rolling and line painting. See? That's a great idea, Wendy. It certainly is. Now! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! OK. Great. Bye for now. Bye, Mr Bentley. Right. We really do need to find Scoop. And fast. <sighs> Where can he be? It's Bob. We can't find Scoop anywhere, Bob. OK, thanks, Leo. Keep searching. Mark! Oh, hello, Bob. Mark, do you know where Scoop is? Uh, I know where he might be. Scoop! Huh? There you are. Hi, Bob. Listen, we need that crow's nest. Crow's nest? What's a crow's nest? That's a crow's nest. It belongs on the mast of the ship. We need it. Oh! I thought it was going to be recycled. It's an important part of the ship, Scoop. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe I should have checked before I took it. Well, yes, you should always check. But never mind now. Let's take it back and fix it to the mast. Steady. Hold it there. Perfect. Oh, hello, girl. You helped me find that strange ball. I wonder where it came from. Ah! The ball! So that's where it came from! Bob! This mast is missing its ball from the top! It is? Yes, you're right, Scoop. It is! I know where it is! I'll go and get it! OK, but be quick. Mr Bentley will be here any moment. Thank you. Uh, thank you all. Horatio Fixum would be so proud. Thanks, Mr. Bentley. Good job, team. Now, Scoop and Muck, you better take all that storm mess you cleared up to the recycling yard. Oh, but it's our really cool, useful stuff collection. Can't we keep it in the yard? Of course you can. Yes! <laughs> as long as it stays in your garages. Hey! Oh, it's really cold in here. Wendy! Wendy! Help! What is it? Wendy, there's been an avalanche. An avalanche? Where? And where's Tread? Tread's been buried down this hill. The avalanche just came whooshing down and buried him. And I couldn't dig him out because I haven't got snow chains. And... It's all right, Scoob. It's all right. Don't worry. You did the right thing not to try. We don't want you getting stuck too. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've got an emergency on Observatory Hill. We need to stretch here as quickly as possible. We're on our way. Poor Tread, I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, but not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. Oh, Wendy, I was so lucky. 
The avalanche missed me and it would have missed Tread too if I hadn't made him stay put to watch me do a slide. It was an accident, Scoop. You mustn't blame yourself. What matters now is that we all work together quickly and calmly to rescue Tread. I'll do anything I can to help. Yes, I know you will, Scoop. Is there a problem, Stretch? Can't you dig Tread out? Yeah, I can dig him out easily enough, but I can't actually get him back out onto the road. Stretch can clear away the snow, but without snow chains, Tread's wheels will just spin when he tries to drive out. Guys, it's really cold in here. It's a good job I'm not going anywhere today. There must be some way to get him out. Oh, Bob, I know, I know! Tread's got a cable! Can't I use that to pull him out? Yes, that's a good idea, Scoop. But you can't go on the snow because you haven't got snow chains either, remember? Oh, yeah. Ah, but Tread's not that far from the car park, is he? Actually, you're right. If we finish that path across there, you could get quite close to Tread and still be on a hard surface. That's good thinking, Scoop. Yes, it is. It's a great idea. So, team. Can we save Tread? Yes, we can! Quick as you can, though. This is a nice path, Scoop. Thanks, Lofty. Oh, it's just what I do, you know. Do you think Dash will notice how good it is? You can show him yourself. Dash is here. Yep. Just over. Ah! He is! Dash Lightning. Dash Lightning! Bob the Builder! The man who can! Hi, Dash. Wow! This is gonna be some walkway. I'll be back shortly to see you fix up my nameplate, but I have to see Sky first. <laughs> don't finish before I get back, will you? Oh, don't worry, Dash. We'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dash, lightning. Oh, no. What? Dash is talking to Stretch. And? I wonder what they're talking about. Hey, Dash, I can't believe I'm talking to you. The honor is all mine, Stretch. Zoom. Boom! Dash Lightning loves his fans! My friend Scoop over there, he's your biggest fan. He's looking at me! I have to do something amazing! Hmm. He's an amazing digger. Do you want to see his work? I really do, Stretch. But later. Right now, I have to zoom a boom zoom. Love your work, guys! Ah! Oh, he's coming this way! I have to do something amazing! Like! Like! Yes! I'll lift all that timber! Hurry, Scoop, hurry! Oh, no! Dash is going! Um, Amazing! Scoop! Oh. Um, whoa! No, don't fall! No! My world is slipping! Ah! Oh! I'm really stuck. Right, where's the timber for the walkways, Wendy? It should be over here. Hmm, that's odd. There's some here, but not nearly enough. What? Hold on, Bob. There's a piece over there. Here's another. And another. And another. Oh, no. What are you doing down there, Scoop? Are you OK? Oh, I'm fine. I just, um... I'm a little, um... Stuck. <sighs> Stretch, could you come over here, please? We need you. Oh, Bob, I wanted to show Dash how amazing I am. But it didn't work. There you go. Thanks, Stretch. Good work, Stretch. Now, don't worry, Scoop. The important thing is to get everything ready for when Dash and Sky come back. So? Right. 
That's the area for the kiosk marked out. We'll have the first one built in no time, Bob. We will, Wendy. Can we build it? <laughs> yes, we can. There you go, Mr Bentley. Thanks, Mark. Oh, and when I've finished here, I'll need my chauffeur to take me to my next appointment. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> um, OK. I'll be back as soon as I've picked up Bob's materials. Excellent. Why, materials, where are they? Hello! I'm here! Where are the materials? Ah! Just taking the materials for the stadium station. Mark, wait! Those aren't for the stadium station! <sighs> They're for the skyscraper station. That looks great, Bob. One kiosk down, two to go. Where to next, Bob? To the stadium station, please, Tread, to build the red kiosk. On my way! Here we go. Everything Bob needs to build the stadium station kiosk. <gasps> now I need to pick up Mr Bentley. <sighs> Your chauffeur's here, Mr Bentley. Thank you, Mark. Just in time. <clears throat> I've got to make a speech at the castle next. The castle? Oh, no. It's a long way away. <laughs> Go. Mr. Bentley. Thanks, Mark. Oh, and remember to pick me up on your way back, won't you, chauffeur? Um, of course. Yes. Back soon. It's me again. I'm just taking the materials for the skyscraper. Mark, wait! You've got the wrong stuff. Again. Mark just took the materials for Safi's playhouse instead of the ones for the skyscraper station. Hmm, I think I'd better call Bob. These panels are the wrong colour, Bob. We're supposed to be building the red kiosk here. Oh, dear. Mug must have made a mistake. Hmm. That's not right. Maybe I need to push it this way. Oh. Oops. Right. Uh-oh. What? Look out, Scoo! Oh, it's chasing me! I've got it! I think. Oops! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! <gasps> oh, yeah. Why is this going the wrong way? What are you doing, Bob? I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Oops! Oh, I'm getting out of it! No, stay still, Scoo! Huh? Uh-oh. Oh. Here. Oh, no! Somehow, but I think I know what to do. Oh. Hurry, Leo! I feel sick. It's working backwards, so if I want to move the hoist left, I need to move the joystick right, like this. Whoa. Yes! <gasps> no, do first! Right, Scoop. I never want to go flying ever again. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scoop. 
I thought I knew enough to wire up the receiver. Even I need to double-check my work, Leo. If you're not sure of something, you should always ask. I know, Bob. I should have got you to check the wiring before the test. Now look, I've ruined everything for my dad. Oh, no. Well, we still have just enough time before Curtis returns. We can set the boat hoist up right, fix stronger bolts, and rewire the receiver. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I still feel sick. Lofty, pick up the red container. Pick up the red container. What? Pick up the red container, please, my wonderful assistant. That's better. If they can't hear us, we'll have to force open the door. On three, everyone. One, two, three! Uh, uh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. What? I've just had another brilliant idea. Put the red container down exactly where it was. Please. Oh. Oh! oh. 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 What is happening? Lofty must be lifting the containers. Why on earth is he doing that? This is a brilliant idea. But I can't see how anyone will be able to do their shopping in that. Hang on. I just had an even better idea. We'll build a skyscraper. It... What? Oh, dear. <sighs> the door's still blocked. We're stuck. Stuck like sardines in a tin. So, it's a good thing we brought a tin opener. That's it! Brilliant, Wendy. We can go out of the window. What do you mean? There is no window. Not yet, there isn't. That's it, Lofty. That looks fantastic! Oh, that's unusual. What do you think, Tutan? I think it looks very dangerous. Bob's gonna love it. Where is Bob? And Wendy? Huh? Oh! Ooh. Whoa! Uh. Hello, you lot! Bob! Or some. Better watch these sharp edges. <sighs> what were all of you doing in well, there? Were you in there the whole time? Oh, never mind. Come and tell me what you think of my amazing pop-up shop's design! Uh -oh. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oops! Oh, no. That wasn't supposed to happen, was it, Scoop? Oh, no! What a disaster! Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to use my imagination as an architect. Oh, Scoop. Architects do use their imagination, but they also must design buildings that are safe. <gasps> I... Yes! Oh, your turn. OK. I spy with my <laughs> little eye something the <laughs> colour of... Oh, red! Huh? Guys, where are the tiles? What tiles? Are you OK, Trid? Yep. Sorry, I've just got a lot to do. Well, if you need some help. No, 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 thanks. I'll ask Leo. All right, then. Hi, Leo. Hi, Tred. Bob needs another box of tiles. He's running out. Ah, OK, let's see. Ah. OK. Um... Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Could you hurry up, please? I'm a bit, uh... <laughs> Is it over there? Oh, yeah, I know. Here we are. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, my cheers, Leo. Uh, no worries. Huh? 
Right. Oh, not the phone again. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Hi, Chef Tutty. Oh. Is everything OK? I'm not sure, Bob. Do you have any idea where Trev is? Yes, he's here with me. Uh, could you ask him to get to the sushi bar as soon as he can? Or my fish could go off and be ruined. I'll tell him right away, Chef. Bye. Yeah, uh, OK, great, Bob. Bye. I've got to roll. No, wait, Tread. Come back. Chef Tatty's waiting for you at the sushi bar. He said something about some fish going off. I know, I know, the fish. Gotta go, Bob. No. Ah, Tread, there you are. Sorry I'm late, Chef Tatty. No worries. Well, actually, I was starting to get a wee bit worried about my fish. Hmm, it doesn't smell off. In fact, it doesn't smell at all. Huh? What are these? What's wrong now? Tiles? Oh, dear. If you've got the tiles, then what has Bob got? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? Have you got a box there with my fish in it, Bob? No, I've just opened it and I appear to have a control panel. So who's got my fish? Oh, no. <sighs> Hello? Hi, Wendy. It's Chef Tetty. Are you by any chance staring at a fish? 